Yori Yori does it. Yes! Back in the 80s, 90s, and the early um, 2000s, probably around 2006. So, um, Capcom was really good at um, making quality video games. And they have a lot of uh, memorable characters. To mention, um, they have a significant amount of high end quality titles for every genre. So we're about to start. Um, this was a really tough list because they really, really made a lot of good games. They're probably the best. Um, they're probably second or no, no, no. They're a lot. They're, they were, they were really the best. They were better than Square and Konami at that time at the um, the especially the nineties era. <clears throat> Let's start with number ten. But um, right now, but Capcom is, you know, <laughs> I don't like their games right now for Capcom. <clears throat> so yeah, um, number ten. Uh, no one played this game. It did not sell. <laughs> it it flopped. But this was part of the um, GameCube deal along with the uh, Resident Evil Four and this one, and of course the Beautiful Joe series. This is a uh, PN.3 and it is a stylistic action game with a little bit of shooting mechanics. It's, it's a very um, uh, early uh, GameCube game and it's really good. It has, um, uh, the music here is very um, techno and, and the combat is very sty stylistic. It's like a bad version of Bayonetta <laughs> but it's still, it's still good. If I can remember correctly, this was probably made by um, Shinji Mikami, the creator of the horror genre, uh, Resident Evil, of course, and the new one, Evil Within. So this this was a really good um, game. <laughs> cool um, lead character, cool design also. Very um, techno techno style action game. And number nine, this one was a very popular title. <clears throat> Everybody played this game and this is Devil May Cry the original. This is the best version of the Devil May Cry series because this was made by Hideki Kamiya. He didn't make part 2, part 3 and part 4. That's why part 2 was trash. Part 3 is popular but it's still trash and part 4 is a bit, uh, And especially the new, uh, the latest one DMC, the remake or DMC5 was utterly horrible. It was garbage created by Ninja Theory. It's a shame that Ninja Turtles is just, it's such a great developer. <clears throat> I mean, the creator Heaven Sword and Hellblade, those games are good. Even Enslave was good. But yeah, the original Devil May Cry, this was a breakthrough in gaming. When this was released, a lot of games copied it. <clears throat> so what this, what a great, what a great um, hyper action game. Oh yeah, um, I've been hearing that um, there will be a new Devil May Cry game, but they wanted to, to, to go to the God of War, the new God of War style, the Last of Us walking similar thing, and it's probably gonna flop. Well, at least we got Bayonetta, so it's Devil May Cry, um, it's not in the league of Ninja Gaiden or Bayonetta, but it's good enough. And it's, it's still a lot better than, um, than God of War, and a lot of, a lot of games Cop copied this, the Dark Dark Siders, and Chaos Legion also. That's an old Capcom game, <clears throat> and a bunch of like Rygar. <laughs> there were a lot, a lot copied this type of. Um, now, now, now it's now it completely disappeared. That's so why we got Bayonetta. Bayonetta is the last one <laughs> that's doing the pure action genre. Number eight. This was a uh, mega popular um, game, and again, this is w what what's good about Capcom is that um, whenever they make they make something um, totally original and unique, a lot of developers just copy them. And this game just it a lot of developers copied this game. This is Resident Evil Four, specifically for the GameCube. This is the best version. This game um, started the, the, the over-the-shoulder camera thing, but um, 
it it did not start the um, the the cover shooter camera because the, if I remember correct the cover shooter camera started from the Koi game on um, win back and af after that um, it was a uh, kill switch for Namco so that was also implemented in Gears of War but yeah so a lot of people think that um, it's Resident Evil 4 Resident, what Resident Evil 4 was, did was that they did the over the shoulder camera and that was implemented in Every game like Gears of War, Metal Gear Solid 5, Dead Space, The Order, Last of Us, the Uncharted series, so a, a lot, a lot of game copied this. And that's the sad thing about that. Because of that, the cover shooter camera and the over the shoulder camera right now is becoming um, generic. And I'm getting tired of it right now. <laughs> Except Gears of War. Gears of War is a really good game. But yeah, um, Resident Evil 4 was a really, really good, and that's what they're fine. It's more of a, like an action game right now. Uh, I remember that this was in development for a long time. <laughs> uh, it went, um, it was supposed to be a uh, Code Veronica as Resident Evil 4, but they, they shift that. <laughs> <clears throat> what else can I say? It's a, has a, a good, really good story. Uh, you're gonna have to rescue the president's daughter <laughs> and gameplay as usual um at that time the the cover shooter camera was very very fun <laughs> so a lot of people like it and a lot of developers copied it it's, it's, a, it's a shame um number seven this one uh onimusha uh this game was really awesome it was very very awesome for its time and I hope that um, I know we're getting a new samurai game. Uh, it's probably the created by uh, the Ghost of Tsukushima, created by the um, Sucker Punch game. Uh, that's, that's another crappy game, no doubt about. It. But Only Musha uh, was a really good game because um, there wasn't a lot of um, good samurai games at that time. There was always a it was always a shinobi and a ninja game, the Ninja Gaiden series, but not 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 a samurai. So this was really good. Uh, it also had the um, this this guy's a real real actor also. Um, I think it it probably started the motion mocap thing. The it, it was very um ahead of its time. Pre-rendered visuals, uh, very good also. Very fun, very fun combat system. So again, this was also part of the um, DMC era. So there there were. Um, Capcom was trying to make a lot of um, you know unique action games, but this is this is uh, for me was the best one for the at the time for the uh, the action adventure genre. It's very fun, very very fun combat. Story is good also. You're gonna fight Nobunaga. <laughs> <clears throat> Graphics top quality. Um, music also top quality. I also like part two. Part two was also fantastic. Part three was very. Part three was heavy on action. I can remember and it got the French actor uh, Dion Reno. <laughs> but part two was re really really good also. And it, it's a shame that it, it died after <laughs> because part part for um, the only Musha four the only the the Western Samurai it, it it killed it killed this series. That that was a horrible game. And right now we don't have any Onimusha games anymore, so it's it's Capcom is really um, going down right now. It's 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 such a shame right now. And I need six number six. I'm gonna take you for a ride. And this 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 was a cool fighting game. And I'm hoping that we could get this for the Switch. I'm hoping because I want to play this on the go. I used to um I I I played a lot of um uh, versus series. I have a lot of them. I collect them. Uh, this is the best one. I did start from um, Children of the Atom, X Men, Marvel Superheroes, and so on and so forth. Yeah, X Men, Street Fighter, and Sh Marvel vs. Capcom, or Capcom. Even got Marvel vs. Capcom 3, but this is the best one. I played on uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, but that was trash. It's a dead, dead. It's a, Marvel Capcom is a dead franchise now, so. Yeah, this is the best. On oh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, where's this? <laughs> what happened to my disc? Uh oh. <laughs> it's probably inside the Xbox. <laughs> it's a lot the disc was lost again. I hope it wasn't stolen. <laughs> but yeah, um everything was cool with this game and it's a lot I think it was fifty-four, fifty-two characters. There was a lot of characters in it. 
I, I could I play this like hundreds and hundreds of hours. Um, the characters that I used was uh, uh, Strider, she's got her Juggernaut, Iceman, Sentinel, and Jean, I used those characters. <clears throat> what else was Pretty much um, Captain Commando, I used Captain Commando. These are really good, good characters. <coughs> the the Spire Spiderman was a difficult character to use. <laughs> but yeah, um, oh yeah, I also used uh, Sabertit. That's the, my main character. But yeah, Marvel Capcom, everything was perfect. Really. The music, the characters, everything. Um, it was Capcom at this time was, um, you know, they were high, highly respected game developer right now. They're, they're trash right now. Even with Monster Hunter Worlds, even with the new Resident Evil, that, 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 those games are trash right now. So um, it's a shame that um, such a great company is doing stuff like DLC microtransactions, not to mention unfinished games. Such a shame. <laughs> Number five. Number five is my favorite uh, Resident Evil title, and you can get this right now on Steam. But it used to be a Nintendo exclusive. Exclusive it was also part of the um, GameCube exclusive. Um, they thought the, um, it's a good thing that it's it's uh, multiplayer right now because every, everyone right now can get to play it. This is the uh, remake and one of the best. Capcom games I have ever played, and one of the best horror games I have ever played. This is the remake of the original Resident Evil game, and wow, that's 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 what I only can say. Wow, what what a fun game! This is such a fun fun title, and it was it, um very very scary, and you know, it's 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 a tr tr a little bit of a thriller for me. <laughs> was like a movie for me and everything here is just perfect combat the equipment item selection the, the story and the graphics was just perfect for me it also had the um the the face mocap thing first time um it's just such a uh, chilling game and i want this for the nintendo switch i want to play this on the go and I'm really glad I went multiplayer. <laughs> a lot of people were. Uh, I remember at the GameCube era, a lot, of, a lot of people were jealous, even the Wii era, because uh, Nintendo had the exclusive license for this. It would be cool if, if it also retained exclusive. At least we could get it for the Switch. <laughs> even the Wii, we could have gotten it for the Wii U. But yeah, um, great, great um, pre-rendered graphics, especially the HD version. It's ver it has a high resolution uh, pre-rendered graphics. It looks really really good, and gameplay is just really awesome. This is the best. This is still the best Resident Evil game. The the new one had high reviews for Resident Evil Seven, but that that game is a joke. Oh, it's, it's it's just an FPS game. It's a sh it's a shooting game. I mean, there's nothing special about that game. It just copied Silent Hills. <laughs> Number four is a Switch title, but. You can have this also on the PS3 and the uh, Xbox 360 version, but this is the Switch version is the best version. This is uh, Street Ultra Street Fighter 2. Um, I have no complaints in this game. Um, great. This is my first um, time playing the uh, Street Fighter 2 um, HD. HD. This is the uh, Ultra Ultra Street Fighter 2. Um. So I, I I did not play the PS3 version and the Xbox 360 version, so this is the Switch version is my first time playing this um, uh, HD version. I play, of, of course, I played the original one <laughs> on the Turbo and Hyper, <laughs> but yeah, um, I I just like I put it like uh, my 45 maybe 45 hours in this game. If I have not play on the Switch, you can just I can just play this anytime, even anywhere, and it's very, very fun. Um, <laughs> Street Fighter 2 with uh, Great graphics, great remix, uh, ha has a lot of um, bonus artwork to it. It's, it's just that um, it's an aw awesome experience that you can play on the go. The Switch, every everything needs to be um, 
every game needs to go to the Switch. <laughs> but yeah, this is a, a great title. And what I like about here is that you can also recolor your characters, which is awesome. <laughs> and I, the, 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 the updated, so there's no more problem. I don't see any more problem with the online mode, which is a good thing. And the Evil Ryu and the Violent Ken um, additional character bonus even had got the uh, Shinakuma. <laughs> this is uh, it's all good. It's all good. Even though they recolor, and this it's like it's a good bonus. Yeah, they're they're powerful uh, DLC characters, free D, free DLC characters. <laughs> but yeah, Ultra Street Fighter Two. I I can't wait for the um the I wish I wish the also um. HD remake that's the Street Fighter 3 game. I'm gonna get it also. Number three. Illustrator 2 for the PS1. So um this game um uh, was really cool and <laughs> I remember that oh uh, man I first saw it. Man I wanna be like this character <laughs> because I, pl I played Strider 1, um, I didn't like it that much, but Strider 2 was just, um, it, it was an ex explosive uh, 2D action game. Uh, for some, they, they would think that it's just a generic action uh, 2D action pr um, platform, but man, th th this game was really cool. Even the, the new Strider game was cool also, the, new, the remake, that was a cool game, but Strider 2 was really, really good. It just, I don't know, I think I, f I played this game, or I finished this game for probably seven times already, or eight, eight times. Uh, I also have it um, emulated on my PC, emulated also in my, my PSP. If I have not even played, I play it there. So I'm, I'm sad that um, my PS1 copies were stolen at the time. Probably, I, or no. Probably I misplaced or stolen or something, but yeah, um, it was such a good quality title. I'm hoping I could get one, but it's it's a little bit expensive right now. But yeah, um, you know, there was. I mean, if you look at my video, the intro, the hoo ha hoo, the, that came from Strider. <laughs> so uh, when I played that, you know. You just wanted to be like that character, that that badass ninja character. It was just, it was a cool game at the time, very very um, 90s and hype, hyper um, electrifying action uh, 2D platformer style game. No, very Capcom. This is Capcom as its finest. And of course, number two, this you can, you can say that um, this might not be your. Um, uh, favorite um, Capcom game, but for me this is, you know, this all this is already a number one for me also, and this is my number two um, favorite Capcom game. This is Dino Crisis Two. Whew, this game, I played this, I finished this for like five times, so. and I still play it time to time. Everything is here, the story, the, the gameplay, it's very very action style Resident Evil style game. <laughs> uh, characters, great cast of characters, uh, story, has something to do with the time also, the thing. And, and of course Dinosaur, it's, it's like a, you know, it's Jurassic Park, but, but you're using, um, you're killing the dinosaurs. <laughs> and it's really awesome. I don't have any problems with this game. I don't have any problems with this game. Very well fun game. And you can just keep going back on it. What is the crap is this? <laughs> you, know, you can just keep going back on that Dino Crisis. And I am hoping that um, I heard that they would um, revive the series or make part part for this part part two was horrible. X Xbox killed Dino Crisis, but I also blame the fans for not buying um, the, the game. That much. Um, I don't know if this game sold a lot. I, I don't know if it probably no, it probably flopped because of Resident Evil. But 
Either way, uh, this is such a great title. There is really no no bad quality in it. It's, it's a fun game and, and some people might get um, terrified to, ter terrified for it because it's still a horror horror genre game but I just had had a blast playing this game and uh, you know I can just keep going back to it and I'll play the PC version. It was yeah, I had PC version. I also have part one. Part one was terrible and part three part three was terrible. But yeah, um, this was such a good game. If ever they they do a remake or if ever they release part four, I'm hoping that they could have the um, Gears of War style of camera, cover shooter style of camera, and make it open world and with the create character would be also cool. Or even even Regina would be cool. Where you can um, upgrade your weapons, your armor, build up your character. Uh, it could even be a post-apocalyptic um, dino world. That would be really cool, open world style. Yes, yeah, uh, survival style. Dino Crisis game, and this was this this is such a perfect game. Better than the entire Resident Evil games. Before we go to number one, I know what you're thinking right now because, if, as I said, before we go to number one, <clears throat> there's a lot of games that Capcom really, really good at make, and you know, you, I, I didn't mention this, but Cap Capcom did really. They made a lot of great titles, but there is just just so much. Code Veronica was really good. Resident Evil Three was also good. I know what you're thinking. Um, where is Monster Hunter? Uh, I'm not a fan of Monster Hunter games. I think they're terrible and boring. Even Monster Hunter World. I I got bored of Monster Hunter World. It's a boring game. We got even Revelations. The 3D effect was also good. Even you get um, you know, weird crossovers. The Tatsunoko versus Capcom. <laughs> that Tatsunoko is a is, is a bunch of popular characters in Japan also. Um, Karas was a cool character. I watched that movie before, and Tatsunoko Productions. Um, they they also made uh, um, Speed Racer. <laughs> you got uh, this is Ken. I think Ken the Eagle, Eagle or something. <laughs> Real time, you even got this shooter game. <laughs> it's this arcade style Resident Evil game. It's really cool. Street Fighter Anniversary Collection. Um, get the Dreamcast version, that's the best one, but I have it here. I was the PS2 and the Xbox version. I like Street Fighter 3. Um, probably I should, if, if it wasn't for the um, HD remake of Street Fighter 2, I would have added Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. What a great title. This is a horrible title. This is Street Fighter DX. Yeah, Mega Man, I wanted to add this, but um, uh, I, I, I played this twice, I, I finished it twice, uh, it was a really good game. Next, this is my favorite uh, Mega Man game, I'm not a fan of uh, other Mega Man titles, I guess. It kind of bore me a little bit, but yeah, it's Mega Man, <laughs> Street Fire, great Um, Really Full Joe. This, this is also a, I could say a classic. I'm, I'm missing Okami, but uh, I sold my Okami copy. Okami was, is good um, if you don't have Legend of Zelda. <laughs> if you're not a, if you never had a Legend of Zelda game. But it's just Okami. For me, it's not a good title because I played Legend of Zelda. So, you know. You don't have, if you're not a Nintendo gamer, you don't have Legend, Legend of Zelda. Play Okami, and then you're gonna play Legend of Zelda. You're gonna have to buy it. <laughs> Beautiful Joe is a cool game. That's all I can say. It's just a cool game. No, nothing special to it. Just a cool game. This one, uh, I couldn't add it because there's just too many Resident Evil games already. But this is was a really good one also. If they ever they did, never um did part four or the, the remake, this could have been the best Resident Evil game zero. Again, there's no problem with this. Great graphics, also. Everything was just a polished game. Everything here was cool. Great gameplay, also. That in the train was really cool. <laughs> I wish this. I wish this was good. I wanted this to be a good game. It's a, it's a shame. Uh, I'm I'm lacking Dragon Dragon. I mean, I mean Breath Breath of Fire games. This is Dragon Quarter. I used to have um. I left it back in the Philippines on um, Breath of Fire 4 and 3. I used to have those. those Part 4 was really good. 
Uh, there's nothing special with this. Um, but they have the cool characters. The, the characters in Breath Fighters are cool. <laughs> but Capcom is not that good in making um, RPGs, so they got they got killed. With, they got killed with the uh, Final Fantasy and the Dragon Quest series. It's finer and whew, this one was man. I wanted to add this. If if my list were like a top twenty, I, uh, this it could have been this game could have been my number eleven. This is this is I have this also in my PSP downloaded. There's like no problem with this game. This is this is a really good uh, game. I'm a fan of SNK. I probably should do a top uh, a top ten of SNK games also. And man, this game was awesome. The music, especially the music in here, was really awesome. It just has the you know the complete list of characters. What a cool game, that's all I can say. Uh, I want this on the Switch. I really want this on the Switch. Because I played a ton of this. I played Part 1 a lot on the, the PSP. Played Part 2 a lot on the Dreamcast also. Probably the best version is the Dreamcast version, but um, Kevin vs. SNK, even, even Part 2, they were they're really awesome. Uh, the characters that I use here is um, Kyo and Terry. Uh, on the Capcom, um, who the hell it is? It's probably Sagat and uh, maybe uh, Ryu or no, no, it, I'm, I'm an Akuma, Akuma user. But yeah, um, this this was a perfect fighting game. You can play this anytime. It, man, it would be. I wish, I wish, I wish this we got this game rather than Third Strike. <laughs> So yeah, let's go to part one. You won't believe what's my number one favorite Capcom game. You won't believe what's my number one favorite Capcom game. And we wanted to do this because it's a special uh, video game. Are you ready for the champ? Classic. Best console. But the Switch is the better one. It's my number one, number two console right now. This game. This game, this game. People bought a Dreamcast just to play this game. They bought this one console to just play this game. And people are still buying this game, even though it's, it's very expensive right now. <laughs> Champ. Oh man. I don't need to talk about this. Just watch, just watch it. Yes, watch this game. And transport it to the floating castle. What will happen to our heroes? Welcome to the Power Stone world. Look at that. Let's play the game. The best Capcom game. Welcome to the Power Stone. Damn. I want this on Switch. Damn, that's all I can say, original adventure. Damn. Fight for your freedom. Escape from the castle. Come on, man. Look at that. Capcom as its finest. Earl, classic. Ultra fun. Capcom is good at fighting game. They're good at making good graphics, memorable characters. A solid beginning. Solid Go multiplayer. Go for it. High, high replay value. I don't know why hey now, they're not porting this on every console today. I don't know why. 
I don't know why they call it on the PSP only. That is insane. And not cool. They should have ported it everywhere. Look at this. Look at how cool this game is. This game is better than Smash Brothers. Better. Oh no! Oh no! That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. Awesome. Why am I playing this? <laughs> Best Capcom game ever created. Aki Hikumori here with a quick announcement. This will be my first mega giveaway. All you need to do is subscribe to my channel. And once we reach a goal of 100,000 subscribers, one lucky winner out of the 100,000 subscribers will get a chance to win a Nintendo Switch and Zelda Arms and Splatoon 2. So please click that subscribe button and get a chance to win all these awesome prizes.